Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the BBG and Wondering Sword. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to jump straight back into it. It's the Sword Appreciation Arena. I need to go thank people because they saved my life. Where even are the people fighting in the arena? I don't know. Because I've never been here before. Mingjian Manor. Let's go rob them. Oh, it's guest room. Can I rob that chest? No. Okay. I guess that's fair. That wouldn't be very righteous of me. Marquis, with the unfortunate assassination of General Huang, we don't take any action soon. I'm afraid the Shungu pass. Don't worry, he won't die that easily. The priority for the Sword Appreciation Assembly this time is to unite all sects against Tianlong. Since we're going to deal with the Tianlong gang, why do we have to spread the news that Cao Yutian has masked the wind and cloud method and greatly improved his power? This will only give him more followers. Followers don't underestimate people's jealousy. Not only will the news not give him any followers, it will be the final straw that leads to his demise. Hi guys, I was not listening to all of the things you were saying. Hello Mr. Detective. Where's Leng? So you're the new disciple of Master Ching Shu. You almost ruined our plan to deal with the case in Ping Kang Si. Fuck off. It was all a misunderstanding. Had I known the school was on to Mr. Lee, I wouldn't have interfered. It's not just that. Well, it's normal for young people to be impetuous. By the way, I heard that you went to Mount Wines to look for a little girl, didn't you? Have you found her? Do you need any help? There's nothing in the world that the spies of this school can't discover. Why is the Marquis asking about Xiao Tong? Judging from your reaction, I'm sure you found her. That's suspicious. I don't like it. Suspicious. And he's really strong. He's really strong. He caught me by surprise. I thought he'd found out the relationship between Master Jiang and me. Lucky it was a false alarm. Sword Arena's up ahead. Let's go. Alright, it's time to just take over. But first, I loot. <laughs> hey look, it's Beggar Man who helped me. It's you, the one from the Beggar Sector helped me that night. Hi there, did you catch up with the man that night? I, di I didn't lose. No, I didn't lose. I refuse to accept that that's the current consensus of what happened all right i didn't lose so you're the one rescued by Shu. he looks like a dog what was she thinking rude so you're here for the sword appreciation assembly i am yep i'm here to fuck all you up tai hall is not open to the public yep okay fair enough it's been a while you look even stronger than before it looks like you're gonna win it all at the sword appreciation assembly see you've got eyes i like that hi guys i'm alive yeah, you're finally awake. Good to see that you're alright, Mochi. I heard away about what happened that night. What you did was silly. The senior disciple is supposed to protect the junior, not the other way around. If something like that happens again, promise you won't do it. I probably will. I'm gonna be honest with you, I probably would. Yeah, you feeling alright? I'm feeling great, sorry to have worried you. I'm glad that you're fine, but you were too reckless that night. Dubiao is powerful. I know you wanted to rescue him, but you should have waited till I got back. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I'm telling you... No one believes me. I could have killed him. Is it time to fight? Let's go. I'm going to kill everybody here, I'm telling you. You know what? Kill's a strong word. I'm going to spy everybody and win righteously. Thank you all for coming to my humble manor. It's with great honor that I've invited you here today. As usual, I present the prize sword for this year's sword appreciation assembly, Jean Lu. Yeah, can it be a saber instead, bro? Because... Oh, that was cool. I like that. As you can see, the winner this year will be granted it. You all know the rules. Any young people who haven't participated in the past is eligible to compete. Alright, let me in. Condor school. We have Mr. Yin here. I didn't know you were coming. Welcome. Condor school seems pretty cocky. Of course, they take bounties and hits. As long as you pay them, they kill anyone for you. It's rumoured that anyone who receives a condor order does not live to the next day. I'm gonna get one of those, aren't I? I'm gonna get one of those. Oh, he looks evil as fuck. I heard that the Central Plains is full of great warriors. It truly is. It's the lady I met at Mount... Oh, the lady in red. They must be from the Xuanhuo cult, then. To what pleasure do we owe your visit, Mr. Xuan? Pleasure? Not much. I heard the Central Plains is full of great warriors, so I brought our youngsters here to learn from you. I'm sure you don't mind. Of course, I'm rather interested in the sword as well. We don't welcome a cult here. I think you should leave. Why the rush to get us out of here? Are you worried that you'll lose? How rude. You're going to die. Don't do that. 
I did not come here to see how good you are. It's a shame that the sleeping eye hat stuff does not quite live up to its reputation. He just came in here just pissing everybody off. He's crazy powerful too, because I've seen him. Your supreme blaze is indeed amazing, but if you're only here to appreciate the sword, why so aggressive? Ah, Master Yuan Ju, your lion's roar was invisible yet powerful. It does live up to its reputation. I didn't come here to offend anyone. I came here with sincerity. After all, the enemy of an enemy is a friend, right? Your words seem to have a deeper meaning. I've just heard some interesting rumors regarding Tianlong Gang. Well, they obviously want to kill them, so works for me. I'm going to beat everyone regardless. Last person standing gets the sword. Let's go. You, you are an idiot, Yuan Ming, you fool. Since everyone's being shy, I'll be the first. You idiot, man. Why you got to embarrass Wu Dang like this? The Crimson Condor. His name's not much better. Fool. Oh. Oh, wow. Why would I defend him? But okay. Yeah, no. I'm afraid you may die, to be honest, if I don't control my strength. Bye-bye. Good fight, good fight, good fight. Get off. Next. Next! Yeah, let me spar with you. Okay, yeah, let's go. I beat you before, I'll beat you again, man. Hasn't been long and you've become so powerful. Guess I gotta go all out this time. 3,000. You're quite strong. I'll tell you what. We'll get some defense going on. Oh no, I evaded. Shame. Oh. I am so glad that I did as much preparation as I possibly could before I came here. Ooh. A polar move, random. Good fight, good fight. I'm truly impressed with what you've achieved today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't tell me that all the so-called promising young people of the Central Plains are this week. If that's the case, we'll take possession of the sword. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, you're, you're gonna have to be very impressive. Never thought we'd meet again like this. Had I not got involved in his grudge against Chen Wu back in the Valley of Dragon Slumber, none of this would have happened. Kiddo, if I recall correctly, you were the one Master Ching Shu rescued in the Valley of the Dragon Slumber, right? I didn't expect you to have talents for martial arts. You become very powerful in a short time, but this is as far as you go. I really doubt that, bro. 6,000! Okay. Let's just... He is rather tough, yeah? Oh my. This is, this this may be tough, yeah? Oh, thank you, hit a grand. I like that. Oh, fuck off! I could've won that! Concede now, my next strike may be the last. It's normal for one to come out on top in a match, but Guardian Fang's ruthless moves are against the rules. Nonsense, my saber plays for killing, not sparring. If you want to save the kiddo, go ahead and tell him to concede. This kid has competed in several rounds in a row. Even if you defeated him, it's no honor to you. How about you take a break and continue once he's recovered? After all, our church should always win convincingly. Wouldn't you agree, Godfather? Oh my. Yeah, G is her name, not the lady in red. Who knew? Who knew? That pisses me off. I'd have won. Thank you, Mo, and I'm fine. Don't push yourself too hard for the fight tomorrow. You've done well. It's not worth risking your life. Alright. Look, man. He sounds like he's going to be an enemy later. Find a quiet place to practice. Where the f... In the corner? You want me to just go in a corner and cry? Surely. This looks like a quiet place. This place is indeed quiet and calm. I feel a lot more relaxed. No one's here, I should practice my moves. This is the way. What was that? A chicken bone? It's probably nothing, I should get back to practicing. 
How rude. Strange, there's no one here. Yeah. Sarah, it's you. I didn't know you'd come to Ming Jan Manor too. Where have you been hiding? How could I watch this fun event if I were to let people spot me? Speaking of which, I watch your fights during the day. The essence of Wudang martial arts is a combination of offense and defense, integrating outer and internal power, but you fought everyone with brute force relying on your strong internal energy. If Zhang Sanfeng saw this, he'd turn in his grave. Yeah, please tell me. You know the rules, I'm getting thirsty, find me some good liquor first. To tell you the truth, I'm a guest at the manor, it's rather inconvenient. Who are you? Our lady had us prepare delicious food, having learned of the arrival of you distinguished guests. Okay, what? Just to... This lady of the manor is very astute. Good God, she is on point. If these dishes are just starters, the banquet is ready. Please follow us to the side hall. Okay. He's obviously someone important. Is he about to, like, hit me? This kid, he's already mastered it. Just like that. How did he... Never mind. After all these years, it's time to give up in the end. Perhaps I'm just not talented enough. So he must have an incomplete version of the five mental sutras as well. It's fine the way it is. Anyway, a banquet you said. Let's go. I'm just leave me cultivating here. Don't worry about it. I made it. This is awesome. The team, my body feels even stronger. Okay, let's go. Someone's playing the Gu Chin. Could it be the elderly beggar? I should go take a look. It's obviously the chick. It's obviously the chick. Where's the music? Ooh, a chest. Oh yeah, this looks like a Guchin. Hello? Yes, you do music good. The maple bridge witnesses stunning music and a pale haze covers her delicate skin. On the sparkling surface the sunset is thin. Though an enticing dark fragrance summons you in, a raving beauty sits in the pavilion singing with a chin. Silvery moonlight on the new fallen snow is her glow within. Is this the music thing they were talking about in the inn last episode? I feel like it is. Maple under the bridge or something. Clouds and haziness cover Mount Joey. What do you think of this? I think good things of it. The song is... It's a bit depressing. It sounds lonely. It's a beautiful tune, but I feel a little sad listening to it. I know you're strong in martial arts, but are you also a musician? No, I, I, don't, I don't know shit. It's just that when I heard the song you played, I suddenly felt sad. How do I put this? It's the feeling of unwillingness to accept one's fate. It is a tune I bury my emotions in, and the strings carry my ambition. Why has fate only brought me disappointments? I've always heard about close friends understanding each other with music, but I have never met one who gets mine. I finally met one now. Oh, well, there you go. Mr. UN, how are your wounds? Do you know me, miss? Don't you remember me? Yeah, she's the one that saved me. Come on. Are you Miss O Yang? Thank you for saving my life. You're very welcome, mister. While your wounds seem severe, your organs weren't hurt. Even if I hadn't asked our people to look for you, your strong internal energy would have healed you quickly. The ensuing fever would give us headaches had I got drenched in rain all night with my wounds, and I wouldn't have been able to participate in the Sword Appreciation Assembly. And just now, the gentleman only agreed to teach me because of you. Don't worry about it. You were our hero outside of Gusu City. Plus, I know the sect leader Hong of the beggar sect is here, and I should show our hospitality. So he is the sect leader. Sect leader Hong must have noticed how good a man you are and decided to help you. So his last name is Hong. He's the leader of the beggar sect? What about the other? Yeah, that other guy. The younger one. Mr. Hong is actually the former sect leader of the beggar sect. More than ten years ago, he passed the chair and travelled around the world. Few people know his whereabouts. I had the pleasure of meeting him when I was a child, that's how I recognised him. Okay, well that makes sense. About her mood. Is there something on your mind? I heard it's the Lantern Festival today, but you're here playing the Guchin alone. Back at Liao City, my uncle would have made dumplings and everyone would be enjoying them together. Liao City. Have you heard of it? While well, it's in the Outer Lands and not as prosperous as Jiangnan, we would get together in front of a bonfire and have fun. It does sound like a nice place to visit. It's a shame that ever since my mother passed away, 
My father has seldom put any efforts into such things. By the way, what song was that? Mist over Maple Bridge, that's it. I knew it was something about a Maple Bridge. Invite to the Lantern Festival. Let's go to Gusu City. If we go now, we may still make it. But there's no one to row the boats at night. Yeah, that's me. What? Come on. The boats are moored at the pier before the manor gate. Please follow me. Yeah, let's go. Sneaking out. Sneaking out. A man and a woman. Alone. In a city. At night. Scandalous. That does look nice. I, I will admit. The vivid colours divide the land. The innumerable lanterns light up the sky. It's beautiful. Yeah, it is. I saw a stand at the intersection that does lantern riddles. Perhaps they have the score. Why don't we go and take a look? Please wait a moment. Please take this. Can't take your money. What do you mean? 20 grand. I mean, that is a good fifth of all of my money. So yeah, I'll take it. All right. Lantern dude. Pay me 800 bucks and you can start guessing. Four riddles in total. Mystery prize is yours if you can answer them correctly. Oh, I see. So I get 20 grand because they're expecting me to fail a bunch of times. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. First one is... Never stopping, never getting caught. I am faster than even the swiftest thought. What am I who weighs but naught? Is it light? Sounds like light. It's light. Aren't oh, you a smart one? Yeah, nice one. A featherless bird, pale and fine, embarks from a realm truly divine. Over land and sea, in air it shines, until it perishes in this hand of mine. A snowflake. Easy. At night they come without being fetched, by day they are lost without being stolen stars. Okay, they're, they're, this is a bit easy. My age is measured in short hours, serving you till my time expires. Thin I'm quick, fat I'm slow, the wind is my death, delivering final blow. What am I? A candle. Come on. Come on. The glazed lotus lamp is yours. I want, I want the music score. I've heard that rumour too, but I'm just a lamp maker. Okay, that's fair. Mr. Look how exquisite our lamps are. Give this to the beautiful lady next to you. It's so much more romantic than a score. Fair. I'm sorry, Miss O Yang. It's okay, everything has its time. Perhaps it's not yet time for the score to come to me. Besides, I think the lamp is good enough. You saved my life. This lamp is a token of my gratitude. Thank you, Mr. Yuen. I like it. You went out here risen up, people. Good God. Okay, we're just out here flirting today. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, she is definitely the love interest. Definitely. The lanterns were beautiful, but you're more beautiful. Thank you, Mr. Yuen. Though we didn't find the score, I was quite happy to see such beautiful scenes. Mr. Yuen is getting late. Let's go back to the manor. Okie doke. Future wife. All right, let's go quickly win the sword appreciation. Just real quick. Since everyone is present, we shall resume the fight. Mr. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, bitch. Let's go. Hmm, it's been a day, kiddo. Surely you have no more excuses. Yeah, come on. Come on, then. Today, you die. Oh, you're going to get hurt. I got extra defense. Alright, unique attack from the side. Boom, very nice. Ow. We're gonna do lightness. Get behind him. Excellent. The fact that I beat you, Mr. 6000 Health, is just shame on you. Shame on you. This is not possible. How does your powers grow so much in just one day? Didn't it? I would have beat you yesterday. Next. Looks like Mr. Yuen won this one too. Is there another challenger? Oh yeah. Come on in. Allow me, Frosty Condor. What a name. 5,000. Fuck me. Why is everyone so strong? How does everyone get so much health? Ah, uh, dodged. Ah. Uh. Eat it. 
Eat it! Yeah, I am so much stronger now. It's crazy. Oh no, that hurt. Please stop. Oh wow. She made me lame. How dare she? And incapacitated. Get out of it. You need to do more than just incapacitate me to win here. Bloody eagle beak hidden weapon move. Yeah, I'll take it. Next. Well done, ye, but I wouldn't be able to take that. You and ye defeating Fang Kuo Hai might have been dismissed to fluke, but now that Frosty Condor, another top fighter, has also lost to him. No wonder Mr. Hong favours you, ye. You are indeed incredible. Your powers were similar to ours yesterday. Didn't expect you to become this powerful overnight. Okay, sure. I bet he's stronger than those other two. No, no. Manageable. Okay, evaded. That's fine. Is he going to constantly evade? No. Why is he trying to fight me? Those other two were so much worse. What do you mean? Random. Drunken Immortal Staff. Yes, thank you. I'm going to max all of these things. Next! Ah, uh, this guy may actually prove tough. Yeah, okay. We're going to run away. We're going to use... Defense and attack. Oh my god, he ran the whole way. Okay. That's fine. The glowing thing. Yep, he's immune. Now, he is not. Ow. Ow. I might as well just use lightness. Attack him. Freaking immunity. But it's fine. I don't want to use the five immortals mental sutra. That's what... That's going to be bad. Alright, let's just use that. I don't want to just get attacked by all the, all the sex. Just It's just not worth it. Oh, fuck off. Just die. Come on, man. Ow. Go die. Ow. Strongest guy yet, for sure. My internal energy doesn't feel right. Is it just me? It's a nice fight, Master Hui Kuang. You are truly powerful, I humbly concede. Am I going to explode? Even the top disciple of Master Yuan Ju has conceded. Mr. Yuan is truly a hero among the young generation. Is there another challenger? <laughs> His power greatly improved overnight. Yeah, gee, you go. Oh no. I'm finally fighting the lady in red. We meet again, handsome. I'd been waiting for you at Mount Yan, yet you ended up becoming a Tao. was how sad I am. <laughs> You're still so cute. Alright, we should just get on with it. Okay, this is actually... This, 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 this is going to be dangerous. 7,000 health. Good lord. Ow. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Double attack. Ow. That hurt. Am I about to explode? Ah. Oh no. It's probably because I haven't mastered the cultivation method I learned yesterday. My internal energy is getting out of control. If this continues, I may hurt her. You. Why did you suddenly hold back with that last move? Yeah, it happens. What a fool. I can see. Okay. I did nothing. Shifu, why did Yi stop his move halfway? Did he run out of internal energy? It's Yi who lost. Why did the lady concede? That that was... You wouldn't get it, monk. Mr. Yu Wen is a chivalrous gentleman. He pulled his punches at the last moment, otherwise the girl would surely have to suffer. Mr. Xuan, I guess this didn't go according to your plan. She's been bested. I respect Mr. Yu Wen's abilities. In any case, his opponent has conceded. Mr. Yu Wen won this one. 
Since we have a champion now, I'll just take my leave. So long, Mr. Yin. Okay, bye. Bye. See ya. Give me the sword. Although it's come with twists and turns, Mr. Yuen is the champion of this year. Great swords have always been given to extraordinary heroes. Mr. Yuen deserves the Zhan Lu sword. Thank you. It's... Oh my god. That is fucking godlike. Okay. But you give me a shithouse saber, but you don't give me that. As a saber? Okay. That's fine. I've no I have business to discuss with you, Mr. Yuen, but first your wounds need treatment. Meet me at the Tai E Hall. Okay, doke. He's gonna he's gonna know that I've been cultivating things. Congratulations, Yi. So this is the Jean Lu sword. Show us. I wanna take a look. Yi, you forcibly pulled back your move and got hurt by your internal energy. How are your wounds? They're in pain. That's what they are. Yi, about your power. Never mind, just focus on recovering first. I'll wait for you at the Tai Hall. Okay. I'm about to get lectured or something. Oh, you're here, Mr. Yuen. We were just talking about you. I wonder how much you know about the situation in the Outer Lands. I've heard Chifu mention a thing or two. Chan Long Gan is the biggest gang there now. And they seem to be involved with the lockdown of the pass. Yi, the reason we have you here, it has something to do with what happened in Shungu Pass. Listen. Not long ago, the Marquis found that the Sungu Pass was locked down as a result of an assassination on General Huang Zhongzheng, which must have everything to do with Tianlong Yang. That's why we called this assembly early. The Marquis wanted to use it as a cover and confer with us in secret. But Mr. Xuan came bearing unexpected news that the Lieutenant General is colluding with the gang. I'm afraid there'll be chaos there. But we couldn't act rashly, otherwise the gang might find out about our plan and raise alert, making the situation more complicated. Therefore, Yi, would you go to Shungu Pass to uncover the conspiracy, stabilise the situation, and do your part for the safety of Central Plains? Yes, sir! Sir, yes, sir! Yi asked Mo En to go with you. With his experience, he can help keep you safe. In that case, as the host, Ming Jan Manor cannot just stand by. Why don't you take my daughter on this trip? The three of you can look out for one another. Uh, you talk about Miss Ouyang? Exactly. She's well learned in the way of swordplay and knows a thing or two about medicines and herbs. I'm sure she can be of help. Do you have any other concerns? No, 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 she's fine. I didn't know she was so powerful. It's settled then. Please look after my daughter. The last person should be Hui Kong. And Mr. Yuen may need someone who is familiar with the Outer Lands and Tianlong gang. I think Yao Ji would be an ideal candidate. What do you think? Oh, indeed, there's no better person than this for her. But she seemed angry back there. I'm not sure if she'd be willing to. Alright, I have to go invite those three people. Alright, you're the boss. Mo Wen, you're coming with me. Pack your shit. You come to talk about Shungu Pass, right? Yep, you coming with? Even without my godfather's orders, I should return the favour for that move you pulled. Alright, nice. Hey girl, pack your bags, we're eloping. You're so late, didn't you know there were two beauties waiting for you? Apologies, I overslept. Missy I was just kidding, we arrived just now. The boat to Gusu is ready, should we go now? Shungu Pass is located in the northwest frontier. After we arrive there, we should head northeast. Northwest, even. Alright, yep, easy enough. Father, are you really letting Shu go with them just like this? She rarely makes any demands. I don't have the heart to say no to her. Besides, she was the reason we agreed to move up this assembly and help the school gather the sex to deal with Tianlong Gang. Oh, she's a schemer. I wasn't sure if Xuan Huo cult could be trusted. Now, with the Marquis' intel and a secure way to do this, I can't let the opportunity slip away. But Father, can we really trust the Marquis? What if he didn't have it to begin with? It wasn't a fluke that the kid won this contest. I am absolutely certain that he is harboring some secrets. Plus, we're running out of time. We need to take all the chances we've got, no matter the odds. Interesting. Bad things are happening left and right, ladies and gentlemen. So with that being said, I'm going to leave this one here. I am the champion once again. Not that anyone expected anything different. That's called confidence. <laughs> but don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Next episode coming out basically when I make it. Also, a new game will be coming as well. I have just downloaded it. So I'm going to actually get stuck into that over the next few days as well. But as always, have a great day.